Our top story this half hour, IMPD is now cracking down on violations in school zones and bus routes in hopes of saving lives. So important, and this of course comes after multiple students were hit or even killed before or after getting on school buses this year. Our Gina Galeros is live this morning talking about how a grant is actually helping make these school zone crackdowns possible. Gina, good morning. Good morning, Julia and Julia. A memorial still stands for seven-year-old Savion Sanford. He was hit and killed by two vehicles while waiting at this bus stop near Post Road. IMPD says this is one of several problem areas around the city, so we rode along with them for two mornings to see what they see firsthand. Uh, stop arms, I would say in a four hour period, five to ten violators easily. I mean, it's not uncommon also to have multiple cars pass, and obviously I can only stop one. It's a typical morning for IMPD officer Patrick Scott. Officer Scott patrols in Warren Township on Indy's east side. 44. One after another. 47. Reporting. Officer Scott stops drivers in Lakeside Elementary School Zone. 46 miles an hour. Vehicles back to back. He's going 50. Well, he's getting stopped instead of the, if you're lucky day, White Buick. Officer Scott focuses on school zone safety. People just get so comfortable with driving and so focused on other things in their life that they just forget to pay attention. Bus drivers were skeptical about more patrols, but not anymore. This morning, I just had a car right after I put the stop arm in. Uh, pass me on the left. And I think it took about a week and then we had bus drivers flagging us down and they're like, hey, can you be at this intersection at this time? Everyone runs my stop arm or we need, we need you over here at this time. And then so that's why I started making a Word document of the different intersections uh, that bus drivers complained about. This includes Post Road. Actually, it's had somebody last fall doing 70 in that school zone. Yeah, it was like a jet engine. I was sitting there and I just heard this car coming. I was like, that doesn't sound right. Officer Scott wasn't patrolling this area on that tragic day back in March when Savion Sanford was hit. They have seen me and slowed down or would not have made a difference at all. You know, you never know. Last September, he was one of the first to respond to Ritter in East Washington, where seven-year-old Hannah Crutchfeld was hit and killed outside her school. It's tragedies like these that IMPD is putting a renewed focus on school zones, joining around 200 departments across the state. Officer Scott realizes he can't be everywhere. And we all find a lot of joy and purpose out of doing it. But when he is on the job, he's hopeful what he's doing is keeping more kids safe. You like to think that when you are out there, you're helping. And on the days we rode along with IMPD, they did not have any cross-arm violations. Now, as a reminder, if streets do not have a divider or median, um, all lanes are required to stop. For those that do, the vehicles driving the opposite side of the road, uh, they are not required to stop.